essence of moose cattail mm, is much better than the essence of moose tail. I can tell you all that. All right, you guys, we should be arriving in the mainland in Portugal tomorrow. But our wind is also almost non-existent. It's like 4.9 to like 6.5 on the true wind speed. So we're unfortunately having to motor sail a little bit today. We do have our Genoa out and a little bit of our main sail out. We're motor sailing. It's a little bit weird. We definitely expected there to be more wind. I went ahead and kind of did my traditional thing where when we're almost to land, I go ahead and wash Delilah's like little towels and blankets and whatever she's been lounging on because usually after like a week at sea it's time to get those washed. I did a little bit of cleaning down below as prep to get ready to go to land tomorrow. We should be there first thing in the morning but it is a beautiful day just sunshiny gorgeous the seas are not too crazy at all it's just really calm. <laughs> I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. Right. First at least is the spot. something bulky attached to it or neither could be a fishing net mm -hmm. that's dragging in the current causing it to go slow. This is a place I would go 
We might get ourselves lost We may never be found If ever that day comes around The sea state has drastically changed from yesterday when it was so nice and calm and also almost even glassy at times. It has definitely changed. It is a roaring sea today and it was all night as well, but we are about to make a landfall after six nights at sea. And now we are arriving into Portugal mainland. We've officially sailed from one continent to the other across the Atlantic Ocean, y'all. This is a big deal, we are so excited. We are actually only four nautical miles out from land. Luckily, the water and the wind calmed down the closer we inched towards land. Once safely docked at the fuel dock, Sean went to the marina office to get us and Tellaru all checked in. The short period of time between the four miles out from the marina and arriving to the fuel dock, I felt like I was being baked up by the sun, so I had to get some shorts and a t-shirt on. Once we were all checked in, we walked Tellaru with the lines backwards a few feet to the fuel pumps and topped her off. It was then time to find our boat slip that we'd be staying in for the next seven or so days. Once we located our slip and safely docked, Sean hooked us up to shore power and decided to go ahead and top off our water tank, of course using a filtration system. We were super hungry, and by that I mean that I was borderline hangry. So we took showers at the very nice shower facility that the marina has available and then walked to a local restaurant for a burger and a steak. 
We wasted no time once we made our way to land. It was time to explore this beautiful country. Did you know that Portugal has their own version of the Christ the Redeemer statue that is in Brazil? The Christ the Redeemer statue was the inspiration behind this much smaller version here in Lisbon known as Cristo Rea and represents Portugal's gratitude for avoiding the horrors of World War II. We spent the day with a tour guide that took us to iconic and stunning lookout points throughout the countryside, as you are seeing here. On our way to Livermento Fish Market in Setobol, we stopped in a little shop to pick up some canned fish. Canned fish is a popular cuisine within the Portuguese culture. We arrived to Livermento Fish Market, which is named one of the best in the world. According to earthjournalism.net, it is also considered to be the home of sustainable fishing practices. We learned a lot about the local fish from our tour guide. We tried some ultra fresh oysters. Right, cheers, baby. <laughs> cheers. Well, that's really good together. So crisp. We tried and purchased some local cheeses and bread and a bottle of wine before heading off to our next stop. Today, the main event would be touring a local vineyard and tasting six of their wines. As soon as we stepped foot on this breathtaking vineyard, we felt relaxed. This vineyard is south of Lisbon in an area known as Azetal. We loved the personalized and authentic experience we were given when we visited the vineyard. Wine. By the way, do y'all notice anything different about me? In between arriving in Lisbon and taking this day trip, I had clearly had a hair appointment. We enjoyed several of the wines we tried during our tasting and bought a bottle, or eight, to take with us on the boat. After our wonderful experience at the winery, our guide took us to a local restaurant and assisted us in ordering a truly authentic Portuguese lunch. Sean and I now know we love the taste of a fish called the scabbard. It may not be the beauty of the sea, but y'all, the flavors and texture was everything. After lunch, we were taken to a more commercialized winery and we got to learn about their history and production, 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 production. It was interesting, but we loved Quinta de Catrabos. Having a tour guide for the day was such a great idea. Though we will be exploring Portugal on our own the rest of the time we're here, Having a tour guide today, we were able to learn so much about this culture-rich country, order and experience food we never would have even known to try out on our own, and it also made the language barrier a little bit easier for the day in certain situations. Most everyone we encountered speaks Portuguese and English, but 
there were a few instances where translation was much appreciated. To have just arrived in Portugal, we are loving it. Mm. Essence of Muscatel mm. is much better than essence of moose tail. I can tell you all that. We're also more than thrilled to have sailed all the way from one continent to another, North America to Europe, on our 44-foot sailboat, just the two of us and our pup Delilah. It has been the experience of a lifetime, and to think that we've only just begun our adventures in this journey is wild. Thank you so much for watching today's video and following along on our journey of circumnavigating the globe on our Nayad 440. If you haven't already subscribed, Please take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button now. Leave us a comment below to let us know what you thought of our video. And hit the like button if you want to see more videos from us. We post every single Friday and Sunday. That's two videos a week. See y'all next time. No, no, no.